Classic Restos is proudly brought to you by Shannon's, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Hare and Forbes Machinery House, Pace Farm, Hero Hoists, and Martin's Panel Masters. <laughs> G'day, I'm Fletch, and welcome to Classic Restos. On this week's episode, it's time to showcase the mighty Holden. And I guess there's no better place to do that than here in Geelong, Victoria. And you'll see more right after this. It's thanks to Shannon's. Ask about multi-policy discounts and sign up for the Shannon's Club. Call 134646 for a quote and see more at shannons.com.au. And Heron Forbes has the range. Buy online at machinerihouse.com.au. I think it is safe to say that there's a little bit of classic Holden in all of us. Perhaps once upon a time you used to own one. Maybe you never did, but I know there's one thing more certain than death and paying income tax, and that is that you knew somebody that did. Our Holdens aren't made anymore. Not traditionally as we once knew them, but a day like this takes us back and allows us to appreciate. So it's a big welcome to the 2018 Geelong All Holden Day. The mighty Holden, a part of Australia's industrial spine, marking an epitome in manufacture. The Holden was Australia's own car, one that was made based on American and some British derivatives through the decades of evolvement, resulting in a tough Aussie car built for Aussie conditions. Holdens had their own sound the little rev of the HR up the driveway and everyone knew that dad was home or the neighbour across the street was home by dinner. Whether you had your first kiss, a drive-in movie night, took a surfboard to the beach, drove one to work, took one on holidays, whatever the application, whatever the memory, a classic Holden fitted the bill for many tens of thousands of Australians along with people enjoying our local Holdens from a healthy export market as well. The Geelong All Holden Day could almost be described as the grand final, the big daddy of the Holden Showcase. Time now to get around, do the classic restos thing and bring you what's in store for 2018. Making our way through the incredible 14th annual Geelong All Holden Day. How you doing, James? Yeah, good, thanks, Fletch. How are you? Good, mate, good. Had to pick on you in this row this morning to start the ball rolling on today's episode. An incredible 1958 FC Holden. Picture in the paddock, mate, just beautiful. Yes, yes, um, I'm really happy with her. She's uh, She's been in the family for a long time and um, she's, a, uh, she's a real uh, survivor. That's what it's about. It's the emotional side of it. It's the tug on the heartstrings, as I often refer to, and I'm so proud to push that on Classic Restos. These are our moving time capsules from yesteryear. Now, I look at this car, I know it's had some work done to it. When was it restored? Uh, seven years ago. It was restored seven years ago, and um, yeah, uh, up till then it was just sitting in the garage for 10, 15 years, and just sitting there, and um, it's got a story, actually, because it was my father's car. Right. And okay, tell us about that. Okay. Uh, my father bought it, brand new. They brought me home in the hospital in it. So it's a... Uh, from birth, right? Yeah, from birth. So, um, you know, I'm 58 years old. The car's 60 years old. So, yeah. You know, <laughs> it, it really doesn't get much better than that, does it? We found a guy... Wow, you know, you were driving in this car or riding in the car before you even knew about it. Uh, and to have kept it in the family for so long is so extra special. Everyone goes through those transitional periods with cars over the years where after three or four years, oh, we'll get rid of it, we'll trade it in. Uh, but the, there were some people, like your family, yeah. that for whatever rhyme or reason just chose to keep that car. Well, that's it now. And I've also got three boys as well. And um, they've all grown up now. They're all in their 
late 20s and 30s and they'll keep it as well. So we've got no intentions of selling the car. The temptation over the years to trade a car in there, you've got a 1958 FC and with all due respects, you guys could have, your parents could have uh, got into a HR premiere in the mid 60s and gone wow and, and got rid of this old girl and gone into the HR, but they didn't. No, and I think probably because it was my father's first brand new car and he just looked after it and looked after it and um, you know, and, and it had just too much history and my, um, I mean, I've got a Greek background and my father just, uh, it, got, it was really attached to it yeah. and, um, you know, and unfortunately he passed away probably about 25 years ago now and, um, yes, yeah, so I'm just trying to keep the, uh, keep it going, you know, and, um, and I just love people just stopping me on the road and just looking at it and, you know, it's, that's what it's all about, you know, it's just taking it out and if I'm going to put a smile on someone's face, you know, because I like the car, yeah. that's great. Isn't it lovely that a, a guy driving a Ford will still give you the thumbs up? Yeah, uh, not just a Ford, even a Chrysler, even a guy with a Valiant. And well, yeah, the Valiant boys, they're neutral though. It's like <laughs> everyone's got time for a Valiant. Uh, there's something about those things in their own in their own little way. That's right. But once upon a time, well, there was always that traditional war of Holden and Ford. But when it comes to the classic cars now, that's kind of dissipated a bit. Everyone's respecting what each other has and and that is just so nice yeah i agree with that fletch um we're all look we're all the same we all love cars uh, we love these old things you know i mean we all still drive all the new ones and everything else but these things here they're, they've got their own personality their their own character james have to leave it there we could keep on talking to you james it, it could end up the uh, the one hour special edition just <laughs> featuring james and his beautiful <laughs> fc um but thanks for coming over and saying hi mate and it's a it's a pleasure to hear about well, the story of your father's car, and to speak to you as well. Thank you, Fletch. Right. Thank you very much. Good on you, mate. Thank you. My passion for cars began when Nana and Pop bought their new Toyota Crown. It was Nana's, really. She loved that car. We went everywhere in it. My passion now is just the same, even though my cars are a little different. I've still got Nana's car. Couldn't part with it. And I reckon if she was here today, She'd be insured with Shannon's too. Call Shannon's on 13 46 46. Shannon's, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. How would you like to double your garage space and work on your cars easily? Well, bring in your own hero with a Lift King hoist. Easy to install models in one, two and four post styles. Check the very nifty Spider 2500 portable mini scissor lift. Hero hoists are either Oz certified or carry the Euro CE, your guarantee of quality construction and reliability. I regularly stand under my Lift King, so when you need a bit of a lift, why don't you go stand under yours? Martin's Panel Masters has three modern accident repair centres. They service Melbourne's inner, outer east and the fast growing south east corridor. Your vehicle will receive the best from state of the art repair equipment finished beautifully from computer based paint mixing systems, finished in Australian compliant spray booths. Martin's Panel Masters, located at Ferntree Gully and Berwick, also Box Hill Panels. If you have a restoration project, Hair and Forbes has the tools that you need. Shrinker stretchers, dollies, mallets, bead rollers, profile gauges, professional panel restoration kits and so much more. Now I warn you, enter at your own risk because you will end up buying something. So come along to your Cap City store or browse and buy online at machineryhouse.com.au because Hair and Forbes has the range. Time for Glenn now. How are you doing? I'm very well, Fletch. How are you? Good, mate. Good. You having fun? I'm having a great day. Thank you. How good yeah. is this? The pinnacle show for Holden here in the uh, Southern Hemisphere, right? Perfect. Yeah. It's um, obviously a, um, such a great thing for all the Holden cars. Yeah. Yeah. The history of the Holdens. Yeah. It definitely. It's, it's one of those shows. It's a, it's a leveller. Everyone here is on the same page, mm -hmm. walking around or an entrant here. Everyone has fun at a day like this. Uh, here, the way the cars are set up, in their rows, and you're setting this row proud. I like what you've done with your 67 HR, Glenn. You've, you've kept it original, but there's just a little bit of Glenn there. You've done a, a few custom mods. You want to walk us through there? There is a few things there, Fletch, yes. We've um, done a little bit of uh, work on the engine, and 192, 
bit of a cam. That was and, the that was uh, the big thing. Yeah, that's back, right. Back in the old days, if you had a one eight six, you'd take it out to one nine two. All the all the hot guys Correct. had yes. one of them. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so yellow Terra head and five speed um, yeah. Celica box. So, I, was, I was about yeah. seven. I was about <laughs> six or seven when they used to do that sort of stuff. So <laughs> at this stage of life, it's nice to be able to say I was about six or seven. Oh, that's that's always nice, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. So no, we're um, very happy with the way the cars come up, and um, yeah, it's just a pleasure to drive. It's so nice to drive and get out and enjoy the uh, all the things that you bring back memories as a kid yeah yeah oh, definitely. yeah absolutely yeah. speaking of which uh the originality of the car matching engine numbers still although you've done the mods on the engine still same same it is yeah uh, matching engine numbers and ninety-two thousand original miles which unfortunately don't have records to prove that but yeah. anyway that's what it is but we'll, t- we'll take your word for yeah, it oh, thank you <laughs> now being the prem the interior of these hr prems mm-hmm. Back in the mid 60s, for the Australian design car to have that type of interior, to me, probably there's a lot of grandeur there. I mean, I, th- I think that the design in those interiors are just beautiful. Oh, yes, it's, uh, they're very comfortable, and uh, the Samoan tan and uh, Morakite is the actual, uh, the, uh, not leather, not vinyl, but yeah. Morakite is the material. Wow. Yeah, yeah there to... you go. <coughs> I learn um, something every day. I might have to employ you as the words man. <laughs> <laughs> bit of history, a bit, um, study, lots of study on um, the history of the Holdens, and, um, yeah, you pick all these things up. Well, yeah. You're, you're going you're gonna to know your own car. There's no oh, two ways about that. Yeah, sure. what, what is a nice contrast is that yeah. Holden made such a basic car down the bottom end of the scale mm-hmm. if you wanted to just get the basic model. Yeah. But then to know, just yeah. up a few notches, you yeah. copped an interior like that. Of course. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, the the, the specials and the standards, uh, you know, they were a great interior as well, but yeah. the, the Premier was to the next level, definitely. You know, wood grain on the dash and beautiful seats and carpet and, yep. yeah, no, very nice. Glenn, how old's the paint? The paint was done in 2013, redone. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, so a complete restoration in 2013 yep. and back on the road in 2015. Yep. Isn't it nice that we make sooks out of our classic vehicles? I mean, they've, they've done the hard yards 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago, whatever the case may be. They're painted now, they're left in garages, they've got their car covers on them, they may be driven once a fortnight. It's about preserving them now and looking after them. And it's so evident when we talk to people that their cars have been painted 10 years ago, 15 years ago, 7 years ago, and they still look so nice. Yeah, sure. It, it, it really is. And, um, you know, really credit to the people that, you know, the cars were painted 10 and 20 years ago, that they mm. still look so amazing, yeah. you know, because yeah. we all get out in the shed, you know, garage once a week and yeah. get the chamois out and get the polishing rag out and yeah. just give it a bit of TLC. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Great therapy. It's all, <laughs> I just took the words right out of my mouth. Yeah, yeah, sure. We'll end on this one. What yep. does... What does the HR Holden mean to you? Yeah, I suppose I had an affinity with it uh, at 18 years old and I wanted one as my first car. Unfortunately, I didn't find a good one. And I always said, one day, one day. And that one day came about. Yeah, yeah so um, the dream came true. Yeah, yeah so always love them, always will. Yeah. Well, lo- lovely talking to you, Glenn. Thank you, Fletcher. It was a pleasure to talk to you and love your show. Huh? Thank Good you. on you. Thank you. One special feature of Shannon's is the amazing Shannon Super Rig. It's just been revamped. Come and check this out. Once inside the Shannon Super Rig, well, things are pretty impressive. We start off with a model of Jim Richards, the man himself, and Jim's no dummy. Speaking of which, we have a model of the Jim Richards Sprint Car that has been replicated beyond perfection. I'm Nick, and I'm the driver of the Shannon Super Rig. But look at this. This is our underneath of Jim Richards Sprint. We've got 68 to 71 real steering components. We've got fiberglass cast wheels with real racing tyres. They're real 351 headers, a fiberglass cast gearbox, and then our friend Wally has impured a PVC piping with HA uni joints and yokes. That's a casting of a 351 nine inch diff, PVC tubing, the shockers are off a 1980 patrol, and each one of these leaf springs is cast in fiberglass. And then to replicate the underneath of Jim's sprint. And this is our new super rig. The Shannon's Super Rig is driven by Nick and is powered by a Mercedes-Benz six-cylinder turbo diesel. The Super Rig is now 10 years old. It has attended over 1,000 events and over 600,000 enthusiasts have been through. The stage area features R-Factor simulators and this year at Geelong Holden, 
Peter Brock's VL and XU1 Tirana feature, Racing at Bathurst. Inside, the corporate monitors entertain with Shannon's TV, legends of motorsport. It's a Shannon's thing because Shannon's share our passion. Time now for a very tidy 1970 HG Monaro. How you doing, Vince? I'm going great, Fletch. That's good. Nice day, huh? Beautiful day, yes. Yeah, very nice today. Yeah. They cracked a good one. Mate, you must have woken up this morning, looked out the window and thought, yes. yes. Yes, today's the day I'm going to enjoy driving the Monaro, and here you are. And here I am, yeah. Otherwise, I wouldn't have brought it out. There you go. <laughs> now, uh, you do have a bit of a story with this car. What would you like to tell us? Uh, the car was originally uh, bought in Bendigo. Uh, the guy had it for about 20 years or, or so. And then a bloke, a bloke bought it, a friend of mine bought it of him, and it was sitting in the shed for quite a few years too, and uh, then he done it up. And I bought her off him about three years ago, and uh, everything's been done up on it from me, me, you know, my other friend there. Yep. And uh, so I didn't do a great deal of work on it; uh, just a bit of a polish up. Yep. And uh, but otherwise, uh, yeah, it goes good. It's nice that it's gone through time, Vince, and the 253 hasn't been yanked out, or, and a 308 put in, or a 350 being put in, or bigger than that. It's right. nice that it's just it's been left yep. standard, yep. Uh, original car, and that's what I was after. Yep. Uh, I didn't want anything hotted up, with big donks in and all yeah, that. Yeah. I think that spoils it a bit. Look, the thing is, the 253, they were never a powerhouse, but they sound like a V8, yes. obviously, because they are. <laughs> They're as smooth as a V8, because they are, yeah. and you've just let it be. And you, you, it's encapsulated in this body style, the f sensational shape of the Monaro. Uh, I mean, who would say no to a, a 186S earlier as well? I mean, right. they look fantastic, don't they? Yeah, they all do. I mean, the, the car is just a unique shape, you know. Uh, they've done others after, but they're never the same. Yeah. Yeah, this, uh, no, I love it. I, you know, it's good to get it out on weekends and yeah. when the weather's good and take it out for a drive. It's an amazing amount of owners that will tell you they've all got new cars. They drive new cars every day of the week. Then they'll get back into something that's... 50 years of age and there's so much enjoyment and the feel of driving something where we step back in time is just so enjoyable. With no power steering, it's yeah. really nice yeah. and the, pe the, foot, the, the brake pedal is a lot harder to, yeah. to manoeuvre than what the normal cars are yeah. but you love it, I love it. You know. When we look at 1970, if we were having this conversation back then and we were talking of a car 50 years of age, we'd be going back to 1920. Hardly a comparison, but just goes to show how good these were. That's right. No, they, they come out with a good model and good engine setup. You could have a pick of whatever engine. And uh, so, yeah, that's why they're still around today. Vince, I like the interior, the original Hound 2 set. Yeah, it's all been done up original. Yeah, it's all good. No, I, uh, like, as I said, I didn't have to do anything to it. It's already been done, and that's where the money is. Yeah. Well, there you go, Vince. Another happy Monaro owner, and uh, on Classic Restos for the first time too, right? Good. On yes, it is. Yeah. Uh, yep. For yeah. sure, uh, Sledge. You poor guy. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's been a pleasure having you, mate. Same here. All the All right. thanks for having me. Thanks, Vince. All Good the best. Boy. We've always had a few cars. They're all special. The T-Bird. Oh, that's mine. The Combi for when we want to get away. The XR8. It's going to be a classic. They're all insured with Shannon's. We've also got Shannon's home and contents cover. Which helps protect our automotive collectibles, tools and memorabilia in the home and garage. If you're motoring enthusiasts like us, it's got to be. Shannon's. Shannon's. Insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Call 13 46 46 for a quote. Martin's Panel Masters has three modern accident repair centres. They service Melbourne's inner, outer east and the fast growing south east corridor. Your vehicle will receive the best from state of the art repair equipment finished beautifully from computer based paint mixing systems. Finished in Australian compliant spray booths. Martin's Panel Masters, located at Ferntree Gully and Berwick, also Box Hill Panels. Heron Forbes Machinery House has been family owned and operated for over 85 years and it's easy to see why. Planning on welding? Look at these welding tables and clamps, air compressors and different air tools, sandblasting cabinets, through to spray guns. Everyone is welcome at Machinery House. There are competitive freight rates around Australia and you can buy online at machinerynehouse.com.au. So remember, Hare and Forbes has the range.
How cool is this? A 1960 original FB Holden. How you doing, Mal? Yeah, good, Fletch. Good. Mate, where'd you find this? <laughs> well, I've been looking for a little bit, but uh, it turned up in Melbourne, but I think it was a Sydney car before that, mm. so I don't know all the history of it, but yeah, no, a fairly genuine old girl. Um, what I love about it is that it's 100% how it would have been back in the day. Now, Danny in production, put some black and white on this thing, hey? <laughs> Let's roll back the clock and get some ambience going here. Have a go at this. Sitting there in all its glory, rear spats covering up the back tyres, roof rack on top, luggage there in the rack, as though it was about to go somewhere, Mal. Well, down the coast, hopefully, yeah. I think most people that would have been inland would have headed for the coast after harvest or whatever, and yeah. I come from the northern Victoria, so I can relate to all that. We used to go down to Torquay as kids and enjoyed many a holiday down there, yeah. In 1960, if you were fortunate enough to have yourself a brand new FB, you were doing okay? I reckon you would have been. Actually, it was the year I was born, so <laughs> without giving my what, so I didn't really... Uh, uh, had the pleasure of being in the back as a kid or anything, but um, yeah, no, it was. Uh, I'm very much like the period cars. Have to also love the Australian air conditioning unit here uh, for 1960. The big fan up on the dash there. We should be trying to bridge pins and get more RPM out of that, so we can get more air through her. <laughs> yeah, if I wind the windows down, I get a bit more <laughs> out of it. <laughs> oh. Now we look inside the uh, the interior here, Mel. Original seats as well. That yeah. that's incredible. This yeah. car really it must have done much in its life to still look so good yeah look uh, I'm, unfortunately i don't know the full history of it but the, the seats and the interior really took me um a few stains on the roof liner inside but it's all intact so yeah no generally speaking it was um 99 there the way i wanted it so um yeah couldn't help myself <laughs> tell you what mal don't have a rollover on the way home, mate, because all that luggage on top there, that's priceless too. Imagine going to try and find that around all the op shops. You've done well. The whole car is so well themed. Uh, Engine-wise, the mechanical side, how is that? Yeah, no, that's all been done by the, the local mechanic as such, um, and so I didn't know the history of it, so we just, um, you know, went over it, and uh, so the motor's 100%. Like I said, I'd, I wouldn't hesitate to jump in it and go around Australia tomorrow if that was the case, so... I have to do the Red X trial or something like that. <laughs> yeah, it makes you, when you hear that, there's a part of me that thinks, why don't you do it? You know, you do think of that, don't you? Yeah, no, well, look, I'm just sort of entering that time in my life where I wouldn't mind doing a few things, so whether that's one of the things that I uh, decide to do in the future, um, yeah, no, it'd be good. It, uh, I don't know whether I'd go on my own, but I think I'd, if you had another car supporting, it'd well, be good. Yeah. 20 or 30 years ago, if you drove around Australia in the outback in one of these old girls, if it broke down, you could run into the bush and nearly find the part. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Uh, uh, nothing that a bit of wire wouldn't get you out of trouble right. anyway. Yep. Yeah. Mal, great talking to you, mate. Thanks yep. for bringing this uh, FB along. Uh, complete, too, with, with some uh, NASCAR accessories as well. Uh, the uh, scuff pads there, but behind the door closer. We've got the mirror up there as well on the uh, the A-pillar. Oh, it's got the sun visor. Yep. It's a... Uh, what a cool jigger, eh? <laughs> nah, no worries. Makes me happy anyway. Good on you. Thanks, yeah. Mal. Okay, thanks, Fletch. Good on you. And in the clever department, now, Mal loves his coffee. And like old cars, there's not a lot of place to put your cups. No cup holders. So what Mal has done, he's found himself an FB Speedo cluster. He's removed the fuel gauge and the generator and temp gauge at the other end. He's put the frame of it and the Speedo down on the top of the gearbox hump, or the transmission hump on the floor. There you go. Instant cup holders, one one at each end. How cool's that? The beauty of that is every time you reach down to grab your coffee you can check, see how fast you're going. Well that's a wrap, bringing you just some of the 2018 Geelong All Holden Day. Don't forget to check out social media pages to find out details for the event in 2019. As I say at the end of every episode, no matter where you're watching Classic Restos from, until next week please ride and drive safe. I'm Fletch and I thank you very much for watching. You can like and follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash classic restos TV and watch catch up episodes at shannons.com.au. Classic Restos is proudly brought to you by Shannon's, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Hair and Forbes Machinery House, Pace Farm, Hero Hoists, and Martin's Panel Masters.